I just want to share something that's very exciting with me that happened this week and uh, that was celebrated, I should say. It was celebrated this week. And that was me being in ministry for 50 years. I know I don't look like it, but yeah. How can, how can that be if it's only, you know, if I'm only 45? Well, I have a daughter almost 45, so it has happened. And uh, before you know it, and this was uh, the thing that we had is, is Joan Hunter Ministries, in particular Joan Hunter. I have been doing the healing ministry for over 50 years. I remember when I was 18, uh, mom and dad had just gotten married um, when I was 16. And so and in between the, when I was 16 and 18, they got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that's when all things started really happening. And then dad started traveling with my mom more. And then I was out of school. And so mom says, um, do you want to go on a ministry trip with us? So I'm like, sure. Where are we going? Hawaii. Oh, let me pray about it. Yes. <laughs> and that was my first time going to Hawaii. I've been there about 30 times since then. And But the thing is, is to actually, I had worked with my mom a lot in ministry, but to actually go and do a, an actual trip with my mom was 50 years ago, and my mom and dad, I should say. And it was so exciting to celebrate that time of, of 50 years ago because I could have chosen, no matter if it was Hawaii or not, I could have chosen to stay home. And, and I want to encourage you, God's going to give you opportunities to minister for him. And we have the choice to say yes or no. We have the choice to say yes or no. He gives us that choice. And, and that's so important is that we take, you know, take that step. Well, you're called, you know, to do this. And you're like, <laughs> nobody called me. Okay, some of you don't feel called. Bring, now you have been. So there you go, okay. <laughs> I'm into getting rid of all the excuses of why you're not doing what God's called you to do. I've got uh, my, my latest book of like the fifth one ago is Power of Prophetic Vision. Getting rid of all the excuses, reasons why you're not walking out the call of God on your life. You know, and I was told dumb, stupid, ignorant, retarded, never amount to anything, never be able to read or write. You know, just don't quit is number 26 book. That's amazing. I'm like shocked at that more than anybody. And so... You know, and I, but I had to say, yes, you, you know, we want your, your testimony in a book, and who's going to read it? Okay, 500,000 copies later, obviously a lot of people have read it. And, and God got me to the point where I needed to put that in there, and as a result of writing that book, it has set so many people free of broken heart, then love again, live again, deals with broken heart syndrome, different things like that, areas that I have been completely healed in. And for me, you know, I, I love this, this curtain back here, and I would do whatever I could do to hide behind curtains like that and let mom and dad be up here in the front, make sure mom's hair looked good, you know, her makeup looked good, and dad this, and mom that, and, and so forth. I made sure that everything that they needed, their water, et cetera, everything was there for them. A microphone, not a part of my life. Now I own my own microphone. But I had to say yes, and I was willing to wear a microphone. And then I had to say, you know, I had so many different um, prophetic words that I was going to be have a television program. And I, under my breath, I wanted to rebuke them, but I didn't because they were world-renowned prophets. So, you know, you don't want to stone a prophet when the prophet's right. And, uh, and so, or anytime, actually. And so all this, and it's like, all of a sudden, I said one day, I was sitting there and I said, okay, God, and I shut my eyes and I said, I will say yes trembling to a television show and as I raised my head up I'm sitting in a car as I raised my head up I saw basically the set and the idea for a television show on the windshield and and I'm like oh that was really cool you know and we have just completed uh for our fourth very successful year um having a television program called miracles happen hallelujah and uh and Zach, my director, is here, and he makes me look good, and I honor him for that. And, uh, and in a nice way, in, in honoring him, saying he tells me what to do. And, and he, he's got a vision from a technical standpoint, more so than I do, about you know, what to do and how to get the message across in a greater way. 
and um, you know, and like, don't wear yellow <laughs> because they could never get the color balanced on it. So I don't, I love yellow, but I gave all my yellow away <laughs> and uh, they liked it too, but they didn't have a television program. And, uh, but the thing is, it's like, there are times when, when we have to be willing to change. My, one of my favorite statements is, without change, we wouldn't have butterflies. And that's, of course, from Walt Disney. And we have to be willing to change and adapt because what I was doing, you know, 50 years ago was, was helping in the ministry, serving ministry. I wasn't preaching at the time. But I was serving and that's how you get you serve and you get exalted and you get blessed in every area of your life. And as you serve, the anointing rubs off. It's the most contagious thing you could ever fathom if you're around somebody in ministry traveling, doing different things like that. And and Chris and Nicole do a lot of traveling with me Uh, since they got healed. They've been in about a thousand services. You know, that's a lot of services for either one of us. And, uh, and so what happens is, is that they operate in the same anointing as I do because they have been infiltrated with the knowledge. I had a lady last night come up to me and she goes, I want all your anointing. I said, it's on the book table back there. <laughs> 50 years of revelation of how to be in the ministry is not going to come with a two minute prayer. Okay. Cause like, how do you pray for this? It's in that book back there. Okay. And the 50 years of revelation of how to pray for somebody, how to pray for somebody, you know, right now we're praying for people with COVID and they're getting healed, which is awesome. And, you know, if you've had if you've had COVID, if you've had the vaccine, we definitely want to pray with you uh, by at the end of the service, because we need to get rid of all the prions that have come in with both of those. Both are assigned uh, for a assignment of death. Number one assignment of death over your destiny. And so we want to make sure that that is totally removed uh, from anybody, any damage that either one uh, has caused. And, uh, and so I just, uh, just kind of wanted to share with you that and how exciting it is that, you know, we had, we had a little, some, some people got together and gave me a little party the other night. And it was really, really awesome and amazing uh, what God has done in those people's lives because I said yes. And see... God is looking for people to say yes, because you have the anointing and the ability to change people's lives, to change their direction in all that, that they're doing. And, and see, and this is what I want. I want to encourage you that, to get out of your comfort zone, because comfort zones are where your dreams go to die. Okay, comfort zone is basically an open-ended grave. Okay, and we've got to get out of that so that we can do what God's called us to do. It's a good thing I got over it because last year with no traveling, writing all the books, it was great. But I did about 100 Zooms. I mean, I went all around the world. Hundreds and if not thousands of people were totally completely healed. It was awesome. Got to go to Uganda in person. I've done two healing crusades in Bermuda from my house. I still want to go in the pink sand. I will someday go in the pink sand. Yes, awesome. And, uh, and so the thing is, I really want to encourage you. This is a time and a season where God wants us seriously to get out of our comfort zone because there's so much more that he has for us to do. And the more that you do, the more fulfilled you will be. And, uh, and I just really want to encourage you that if you need help in that area, we've got a, one of our statements is whatever God's called you to do, let's do it together. And I want to help you. This ministry is here to help you uh, go and do. And if you want to know more information about ordination, we'll be happy to help you uh, with that.